Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another hardware review and today we are looking at the EH Pro Kelpie RDA designed by Vaping with Vic. Yes, Vaping with Vic, the reviewer over here in the UK. So this is a 24 millimeter in diameter single coil RDA. You've got semi kind of adjustable airflow on there um, and it comes in three different finishes as well. You get black, stainless steel and blue currently. So I have currently got a 0.22 ohm build in here at 64 watts. Let's take it for a quick tow. I'm going to save my opinions for the end of the review. So what we're going to do in this review today is take this down to the table, have an unboxing, show you what you get inside the kit, have a look around the RDA in very, very close detail. Then we're going to put a lovely build on it. Then we're going to bring it up top and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So without further ado, I'm going to grab the box, which is over here, miles out the way, and I will see you down at the table with the EH Pro and Vaping with Vic, Kelpie. RDA. So here is the box for the Kelpie RDA. Let's take a look at what you get inside. So inside the box, you will get the Kelpie RDA in your chosen color, a bag of spares, which does include post screws, a squonking pin, Allen key, and some coils, lovely. You've got a 510 drip tip adapter, a bag of cotton and your warranty terms and purchase information leaflet. So let's have a look at the RDA in a little more detail. So this is the Kelpie RDA and it measures in at 24 millimeters in diameter. I haven't got these specs for the height as of yet. So let's start by having a look from the top and work our way down. At the top we've got an 810 drip tip with Kelpie on the collar and it's held into the top cap there with a single o-ring now this little kelpie logo on here i do like that or the kelpie font um i do like that it does remind me of the dot mod drip tips I, I believe dot mod have got dot mod on their drip tips and i do like that it's a nice little addition and you can see it down into the build deck there like so around the top you have got some knurling in kind of like a battenberg police kind of thing i don't like the style of it i like the grippiness of it it is a little bit rough um, but I just think it looks too policey in my personal opinion and you know that's that it does kind of look Battenbergy policey. Now if you look at the center there you have got your airflow holes so you've got 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and you've got a little one down there as well and that is repeated on the other side there. On the back nothing. On the front you have got the logo for the Kelpie which is a castle and a little uh, like horse's head and some water like so. At the bottom there, you've got designed by Vaping with Vic, CE bin logo, EH Pro, and you've got your solid 510 in there. You can swap that out for the squonky donkey pin if you do so wish. So uh, let's whack this on an atty stand and we'll have a look inside the top cap and at the deck. We'll start with the top cap. Now we'll look inside. Now, one thing I first noticed when I got this was the roughness of the uh, engraving or the, the machining. Um, I'm just trying to find a pokey thing here. If you look inside there, and if I remember, I'll post up a picture as well because I've got a bit of a macro picture. You can see the chattering on there. Um, you know, that could have been polished out to be completely honest with you. It's really not detrimental to the flavor. It's more of an aesthetic kind of thing. Uh, but I think that needs to be addressed by EH Pro in all honesty. You can see where your airflow comes through there. Now, one thing I did notice as well whilst uh, taking this apart is where the airflow holes come through, they're a little rough. They're, there's little burrs on the inside there. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it clicking, um, but it catches on the edge of the actual hole there. Um, it, it could just be done with finishing a lot nicer on the inside of the RDA, but regardless, on the inside here you've got a dome top cap there which is renowned for good flavor so hopefully this does produce good flavor you've also got your tabs there which do align with the notches on the deck there so you can control your airflow into the bottom of the deck um, but yeah apart from that you know the little chattering on there and the little burrs on the back of the holes I think the inside is pretty damn nice that little mark down there was made by me I'll be completely honest with you I tried separating these two bits and that brings me on to this seam here this seam here, I thought, you know, this would be an, uh, an adjustable airflow kind of ring where you twist that and then these will be blocked off at the top there to control the airflow, but they're not. It seems to be like a two part press th fit kind of thing. Um, a little bit disappointing about that. It would have been nice to control the airflow up here, but you do control the airflow down at the deck. 
And that does bring us down to the deck here, which is, you know, not the star of the show, but it's the main thing about this RDA. So you've got two posts, or four posts, sorry. You've got your negative one side and your positive the other. So you've got your negative this side, I do believe, and this is your positive because it is insulated. You've got your kind of half moon, half pipe airflow. Loads of different sized holes there. So you are kind of, um, you know, getting half of the RDA with airflow inside. Now I forgot to put these screws down before the review, so apologies about that. They will come down into the deck. So I will screw them down. And there's a thing I wanna point out about these screws as well. And that is why they have been um, unscrewed out of the deck. So if I put them down as far as they're gonna go, so we'll speed this up possibly, I'm not sure. Or I'll just twist it a little bit faster. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the deck. I'll just show you like that and that in there. Um, the post screws, see where those two at the back, they are more or less flush or just under flush. These two are a little more prominent outside of the deck, um, which are on what I believe is the positive side of the deck. Um, not sure why, but that is how they are. They're just, these two are more prominent. The other two are less, as you can see. And if we compare them like that, then you can see. See, that's a bit better image there for you. These two are higher, those two are lower. But if you look at the clamps there, you've got a little bit of a ridge to prevent your um, coil leg popping over the other end, which is quite nice. Really, really deep juice well. I think it's about eight, nine millimeters. So you've got a lot of space in there for squonking. Um, you know, if you do tend to over squonk, it might not be too bad for you. And my serial number on here is 92. So a nice low number there for you. That is where the airflow will come in. It will come through underneath and it will come up through there. Now, I believe from Vic's presentation video, there's a hole in the bottom of this, um, which does drain any overdripped e-liquid or residue or anything like that back into the deck. So it recycles your e-liquid more or less. Um, so it's gonna save the environment massively by saving you a few mil of e-liquid. Now this does remind me of an RDA. I think um, it was by Orgvape and SMM. They had the deck with like the, the hole in the bottom. Can't remember what it is. If I remember, I'll put it up in the corner here, um, the name of it. But yeah, this, this deck design does remind me of that. But what we're gonna do now is take this down to the table and we are gonna put a lovely build on this. up top with the EH Pro and vaping with Vic Kelpie RDA. I hope you enjoyed my down low section of this video. So obviously we've got that space built in here coming out at 0.22 ohms and we have got it at 64 watts on top of the Dovepo top side light. So let's take it for a quick two. Airflow is fully open as well before I forget. Now with that airflow fully open, it does feel quite turbulent and the airflow is quite noisy on this as well, but it does change as and when you do crank it down. So I'm gonna crank it down a little bit, probably around about halfway open, halfway closed. The airflow has reduced, or the airflow noise has reduced quite substantially, but the flavor and clouds still remain about the same. So I'm gonna close it down all the way. Now 
The um, the draw has reduced quite substantially. It's not a mouth to lung draw by any means, but it is a restricted direct lung vape. So let's get down to the nitty gritty bits. We're gonna do flavor clouds, construction, and all that jazz. We'll start with flavor. So the flavor on this is pretty damn good. I'm overly impressed with the flavor. I would say this is around about a seven or eight out of 10 on the flavor scale for RDAs that I have used. So I am superly impressed with the flavor. The clouds, you know, obviously it depends on what e-liquid you're using, but the clouds are pretty damn good as well. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10 as well. In terms of construction, now this is my main, uh, the, the main source of my gripes for this RDA. Um, it will start from the inside. On the inside, you know, the, the little bit of chattering around on the inside that people have noticed, I have seen this elsewhere as well, they have noticed the chattering um, around the inside. So this is obviously a little bit of a manufacturing problem. As well as that, where the airflow holes come through, these, you know, the multiple airflow holes on the side there. Um, on the inside, there are a few little burrs, and I would have liked to see them polished out. Yes, it's a little bit niggly, um, but it's things that I have noticed on this that I haven't noticed on other RDAs before. Um, as well with this top cap, I find it a little bit too loose fitting on the actual RDA. Now, I like a bit of a snug fit, so you don't think you're going to lose it. And I do find myself, after vaping this, um, I find myself you know, pushing it back down. It seems to not rise up, but it's easily, you know, it's there's not a lot of, that isn't a lot of pressure on there at all. I'm gripping it and it's coming off quite easily and it doesn't help when those O-rings do get lubed up as well. Um, another thing I'd like to comment on this as well, it's really not good for dripping. This is more of an RDSA, um, a squonking atomizer compared to a, a dripping atomizer. If you do drip it, it does tend to get flooded in the airflow area where that coil is situated above that curved airflow that does seem to puddle up with e-liquid and um, you know, it, it's not a nice experience. It does get flooded, it does get a little bit noisy and I'd like to see that sorted. Maybe a bigger hole in the bottom of that airflow to let more e-liquid liquid go through and you know um, to let people that do drip to drip on it more often so let's take it for another two before I get out of breath I'll tell you what though the, the the saving grace for this is the flavor on it the flavor is blooming good another thing I'd like to mention as well is the the join between kind of like the barrel and the Battenberg pattern on top now um, with this seam on there, it makes you think that it is for adjusting the airflow. Because you've got that grippiness on there, you think, oh, I'm going to adjust the airflow. And it doesn't do it at all. And over time, in the time I've used this for around about uh, nearly a week now, I've noticed that one side of this is, like, there's a, not a gap appearing, but the, the join seems to be uneven. So where the join should be even all the way around, it seems to have tilted up. It's not even a millimeter, it's a blooming you know, a nat snatch kind of thing, not even a fag paper. It seems to have risen up ever so slightly. And with mentioning that um, engraving and that on there as well, I'm not too fond. This is just purely from a design point of view. I'm not fond of like the Battenberg kind of um, checker plate kind of thing on top there. It's really not my kind of thing. And I think it detracts from the look of the Kelpie. I'd rather have seen some normal knurling up there instead. But apart from that, I really do like the drip tip. Um, the shape of it is a little bit five years ago. But, you know, the shape works. The shape works absolutely fine. There's no fancy curves in there, you know, ins and outs and all that jazz. It's a nice, basic-looking RDA. And if we get into price as well, we have to look at price. Um, really not sure. I think I've seen... Here we go. No. Bear with me. I'm going to go and look at the price. So, right, we're back now. Um, I forgot to get the price previously. I've seen this price over here in the UK for around about 25 quid, 24.99, which isn't too bad a price um, considering the flavor you're getting, but the quality of it, I'm not quite sure. I think EH Pro really need to step up their game on the manufacturing side of things. And if I was Vic personally, I'd be messaging EH Pro quickly get them to sort things out. Um, absolutely blooming quickly to sort things out because if I was Vic and putting this out on the market, I would be uh, pretty damn disappointed. Yes, most of the cosmetic things you can't see, um, but they are there. They're things that we do have to mention as reviewers and it's a little bit disappointing to see something by EH Pro, um, you know, having the quality like this, I expect better quality from EH Pro um, and that that's really uh, the main downfall on this, but the flavor is the saving grace for this. RDA. So let's take it for a final two. So 
So final thoughts and opinions on this. Flavour is good. Clouds is good. The construction is a little bit, if not very, ish janky and i think it needs to be sorted out by eh pro it shouldn't have to be on the second batch you know this should have been decent from the offset and i would have liked to have seen this decent from the offset because it would have got a lot better review but i really think as said previously the flavor is the saving grace for this rda i wouldn't say it's absolutely amazing but it is pretty damn good i've said around about a seven or an eight out of ten but other than that you know it's your run-of-the-mill rda um, nothing really massively innovative on here just you know another rda on the market and i expected a little bit better than this so i'd like to thank the lovely people at eh pro for sending this through for the purpose of review i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching devil vapors vape reviews